program director of the widely peer-reviewed research on science in South Africa, the dawn of a renaissance by University of Pretoria Institute for Technological Innovation, led by Professor Anastasios Puris, paints a positive picture of a growing number of highly rated research and A-rated researchers. South Africa's research output between 2000 and 2010 shows that the country has climbed two positions in world rankings to 33rd and has increased its peer-reviewed and publishable research output from 3,617 in 2000 to 7,468 in 2010. This is in addition to the National Research Foundation spending 43 million each year on boosting research activity in the historically disadvantaged institutions. Our country is also leading in areas such as HIV and AIDS research, setting the benchmark for HIV and AIDS research globally. I would like to welcome this, this Science, Technology and Innovation Summit because it offers us an opportunity to think creatively around providing new and innovative solutions to our unique challenges. I submit that the benefits of science, technology, and innovation are only potentially immense for us, but also, and more crucially, constitute the preconditions for South Africa's development. Research has shown that nations such as Japan, South Korea, and Germany put science, technology, and innovation to the service of the development of their societies with commendable results. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, summits of this nature are indeed critical in enabling us to take stock to share ideas and to explore new ways of addressing our challenges. I am therefore encouraged by this initiative to bring together under one roof all the leading lights in the field of scientific research in our country, as well as thought leaders from all other relevant areas. I wish you all the best in this exercise and guarantee whatever resolutions and recommendations you will come up with Government is there to support you up to the hilt, and I thank you for your attention.